Jocelyn okay. asked, um, how do you, oh, quite a good question. How do you actually go get all the way to the end of a book without getting tired? Like, have you got any tips about, you know, making a way through an entire full novel? Um, and you, you, you told us just now about how laborious the process is. Like, how do you mm. physically and mentally get through that? Um, well, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think you just have to have a, you just have to have a determination to do it and say to yourself I'm going to get to the end of this book and and do it and I, I mean for me I've done it so many times now that it's quite hard for me to, to even remember what it was like yeah. to not finish something it's just something that I always do when I start a project I always get to the end of it even if it's causing me all sorts of problems and partly that's because I have a commitment I've got a contract <laughs> it's much easier to do when you've got that but in the years when I was unpublished, I think I had to, I, I suppose I had to picture what was going to happen at the end of this process. And if it's, if, if what you want to happen is that dream of getting an agent, a dream of getting published, a, a, a kind of vision of yourself in a bookshop that, and you can picture that and, and you know that you've got to get through this arduous task of getting this book written, yeah. to get through to get to that point then that's what you need to do but I would also say that if you don't love writing why do you want to be a writer and if you find it so hard and unpleasant that you can't get to the end of a book then maybe this isn't what you're supposed <laughs> to be doing yeah. because no matter how hard it is and it is hard sometimes, it's still enjoyable, it's still a pleasure. That moment when everything clicks on the page or you come up with a good joke or you come up with, or you write a really good scene or your characters come to life on the page and in your mind, it makes it all worth it. And that's, and that's what keeps all of us doing it, is that yeah. love of writing. Um, it's almost and, like a puzzle. In, it's almost like a puzzle, right? It's frustrating as hell while you're doing it, but the closer and closer you get to it actually being a full picture, you're like, yeah, it becomes satisfying. And, um, you know, the, the big picture is really worth it. Yeah, but I think that also on a day-to-day -day basis, even though some days are really hard and can be a bit of a slog, yeah. um, being a writer is such a difficult thing to do. There's so many disappointments and so many things can go wrong and there's so much kind of all the stuff that kind of goes around writing like trying to get an agent trying to get published trying to sell books trying to get publicity any anybody caring all the hours that you that you throw in that you are sitting there giving yourself a bad back yeah hunched over your keyboard if you don't really love it and in fact you're writing for money or whatever then it's not it's not what you were born to do. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it makes total sense. It makes total sense. It's that mm. sometimes hard to hear that, right? With big dreams of, um, you know, becoming a best-selling author. But yeah, if you don't enjoy that process. Yeah. yeah. And I can tell you that um, very, very, very few writers write that one book and have, unless they're a celebrity already, yeah. have that huge, have that success, have that bestseller them. It's like, they're like, um, um, they're like unicorns. Yeah. They they hard. They they're mythical. These people, <laughs> and being a writer, it's a long it's a long slog. Yeah. Once you you write that first book, then you got to write another one and another one and another. One. <laughs> it goes on forever. Yeah. So unless you're Harper Lee, and you can get away with writing one book in your lifetime, <laughs> um, then. You bust on a tart rice one every 10 years you've got to keep going yeah so yeah once you get to the end of this one i'm afraid you're gonna to have to get to the end of another <laughs> one <laughs>